guys, it's me Shay with another video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make glamorous bedazzled heels with the change of the trends. There are always heels and different ideas coming out. So I had an idea rather than going out and buying new pairs of shoes, I just said, hey, why don't I just change up some shoes I already have? So the look that I did is. Now these are already pink suede heels that I got back in September. I think they were from AMI Clubwear. They're platform heels. I think this heel is like a five and a half inch. And what I did was just added these rhinestones with the accent of the lighter pink on them. Just change up the whole new look. It went from these. To these. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get that look. Um, what you would need, what I use, is a syringe. This is a 3ml syringe I got from work. Um, packs of rhinestones. This is just a regular uh, pack I got from Michaels. I think it was like $2.99. Um, this is the other one where I got the pink out of. This was also $2.99 or maybe even $3.99. And I'll, these, the, these were four and, a, four and a half inch millimeter rhinestones. And these are three millimeter rhinestones. And I got these also from Michaels. And I think there was something like $2.99. Um, the adhesive glue that I would be using is the E6000. I saw this at Walmart and I got but I got mine from Michaels. It was like I don't know, six bucks, seven bucks. And it's also at Walmart too. Um and a pair of tweezers. I used the flat tweezers. It's so easy to grip the uh the rhinestones this way. So stay tuned and I'll be back with details. Okay on guys, let's go with the tutorial on how to get those glamorous bedazzle heels. Okay. What I use the syringe for is to put the glue inside the syringe. Um, this is better for like spreading because the tube that it comes out with, you see, you see it's kind of like big and you just don't want all that gook on your shoe at one time because you're only going to work in sections and too much glue would dry out too fast and then you'll just be a big mess. So I use the syringe to like evenly distribute um, the glue. Sometimes you can put a needle on here, but I prefer not because then the needle gets all sticky. But they do make some ones for this, but hey, like I said, I got this from work. Um, so I put the glue inside of the needle and I kind of like set out my rhinestones. Let me show you guys how I do it. See, I have the tweezers. Um, I have like the pinks over here, and then the regular ones, and then here's the small ones. I'm working on my table, so that's why the paper is here. Um, so I have everything set up to make sure that I have like a good working fashion. I usually, because you have to peel these off. And I usually keep them like in a short section up here. You guys can see that. Once you get set up, you put your glue inside your syringe. You get your set up or how preference or how you see fit to set up your workstation, I would say. And you get your shoe. So once you have the glue in the syringe, you want to... Start off in sections. You don't want to glue the whole thing and put the rhinestones on there because if you do that, it's just going to get messy and the glue is going to dry pretty fast. So what I do, I do little sections. So I squirt. Just kind of smear it on there. Like a little rectangle. See that, guys? 
Okay. And I randomly pick between the rhinestones. I use the 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 regular silver ones more than I use the pink ones because I want like the pink to pop out periodically. So as far as starting off or choosing between small and large, it doesn't matter. So you take the tweezers, pick up your rhinestone, and then just set it on there. Now you want to make sure these get as close as possible so you can get like this bedazzled glamorous look. So I laid it on there and that's how it looks. Alright, and then I'm going to just choose another one. Like I said, it doesn't matter which one you get. And I put them real close together. Alright, and I'm going to choose another one. This time I'm just going to choose a pink one. Like I said, I'm doing these in no particular order. You just alternate. No, it doesn't have to be every other one. It just Because you don't want it too uniform, but you want it like big and small and with the jump of the pink also. So I start applying my rhinestones. I'm going to do this section and then I'm going to show you guys. Alright, that rectangle section, I just did. And this stuff, like I said, dries pretty fast, so you want to make sure with your workstation that you got it set up properly so you can easily grasp the rhinestones without any hesitation. So we did that part. Now I'm going to do the whole rounded part of this heel yeah, and I'll be back. Guys. Part. And I would say it took me about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how tedious you are and how you line and get your organization set up as far as getting the, the rhinestones on there. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like get maybe halfway through and I'll come back. I usually just go across. So, I'll be back with pictures or I'll do a little video insert on how my progress is. Hey I'm back and it's probably about 45, 50 minutes in and I'm halfway done. Alright, and it's turned out great so far. So I'll probably be back with um when I'm half when I'm all done. Get the finished look. Alright guys, see you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Um it was like probably like a hour and twenty minute thing. So here's the finished product. Alright, and here's both of them. So I'm very pleased at how the finished product came out. This is actually my first time doing it and it's very, very, it turned out very well. Um, I think I'm going to wear these to the uh, Little Wayne concert or the Kevin Hart uh, comedy show when they come to Cleveland this week. I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear it to. Maybe I'll do like an outfit, my first outfit in the night or something like that to show you guys. Or maybe you can guys can help me out. Uh, with this. So if you have any suggestions on how to make this these shoes even more glamorous, if you have any questions about the items I used or the procedure, just leave me a comment below here and I'll be sure to get back with you guys. Um if you think I should wear these to which one, I know I'm not sure. I haven't picked out my outfit yet. Um but I know I do know I'm wearing a white blazer. I think those will be hot with those shoes. So, um, alright guys, this is video number two and it's going good. Talk to you later guys. Bye.